All right, guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving question 29 from the second chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook. And we have this pole AC that is attached to the cable BD. And we know we have a force P directed along BD. And we know that P must have a 720 Newton component perpendicular to the pole AC. So if we call our X and Y in here like this, what the question is saying in this part is that the perpendicular component to the AC, which is basically what we have as our horizontal or our FX is 720 Newton. And if we call this the force P, oh, we can actually call it PX. So in the A part, we need to find the magnitude of P and the second part, its component along line AC, which we can call it PY. So all we need to do in here is to find the PY and P. So if we dissolve the force P into X and Y component, before doing that, let's figure out uh, what angles it makes with our horizontal or if we can find information about this right triangle, uh, we should be good to solve the question. So we know this side is seven inches and what we have in here is 2.4 inch. So this side was B and we have D in here. If we want to find BD, if we use the Pythagorean theorem, we basically have seven squared plus the square root of seven squared plus 2.4 squared. Let's see what we get for this. So the square root of seven squared plus 2.4 squared, that's going to be 7.4. So the hypotenuse is 7.4. So if that's the case, our PX in here would be P times cosine of this angle, we can call it alpha, which is 2.4 over 7.4. And we are looking for P because we know that's equal to 700. So this will be equal to PX times 7.4 divided by 2. So if we want to find P, we know PX is 720. So 720 times 7.4 divided by 2.4. 720 times 7.4 times 7.4 divided by 2.4. So it's going to be 2,220. And the forces in Newtons. So that's the answer for the A part where we needed to find the P. And in the B part, we need to find the PY, which this time will be P sine of alpha or the opposite, which is seven divided by the hypotenuse, 7.4. Uh, we found our P 2220 times seven divided by 7.4. Let's see what we get. 2220 times seven divided by 7.4, 2100 Newton, which would be the answer for the B part of the question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. We are covering three different textbooks for engineering mechanics. Feel free to check out the playlist. And let me know if you have any specific problem that you want me to cover in the next videos. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.